it's official. We are on the BDRX Adventure Bike Paradise. Oh shoot, can't get clear down to it. Say that's no camping. Well, there's nothing like flying drones in a bunch of traffic. Not sure if I picked them. Oh! Hey, everybody. I found a spot to camp. We're going to get set up. Good morning, adventure seekers, and a good morning it is. It is my second full day in South Dakota, my fourth day of the trip. Anyway, we started on section one, and we're running it the direction they intended it to be ran. We are about halfway through, so we're getting close to Leadville or Leadville and then into Deadwood and we're going to try to get all the way around the about half a section two and then I'm hitting up my own route into Wyoming to go see the Devil's Tower. I hope that much happens today. If more happens, great. If I can find a place to stay tonight, I probably will because four nights in a tent doesn't sound like something I need more than I need a shower. I'm finishing up my coffee. It's not even six o'clock yet. Um, so we're going to get a nice early start and we will see you out there on the route. One last walk around, leaving no trace. A little better today, looking as I was packing. <laughs> A little better rest, you'll have that. And here we go. It's a beautiful morning in close to Deadwood, South Dakota. And we're calling for thunderstorms later in the day. And it has been calling for thunderstorms every day since I've been here. And I've only seen a couple on the way, on the freeway. So let's hope that holds up. So I love to camp and I actually uh, really look forward to it. And then I always get there and I'm just spooked easy. Not like I'm scared I'm gonna get hurt, but I'm scared that I need to get ready and get up in case you know, some animals trying to get my food or something. Surprisingly, here in South Dakota, there's just nothing. There's no animals that I have came across and I've just been relaxing and sleeping and like, I don't even wake up. Beautiful. Either it rained here or they watered this. It's like I got lucky because I'm only about five miles from my camp. This is a pretty cool town. I saw that big tall thing when I was coming up the hill and I wondered, what is that? Is it someone's house? I guess the bad thing about getting such an early start is nothing's open, so no mining museum tours. Oh, looky there. Man, look at just beautiful clean water. Deadwood, South Dakota, 1876. Welcome to Deadwood. All right, here we go. Downtown Deadwood. Founded in 1876, Deadwood, South Dakota was known for the gold rush, gambling, and its lawless Wild West legends. Most famous of the bunch was Wild Bill Hickok. On August 1st, 1876, Hickok was playing poker at the number 10 saloon when Jack McCall entered the saloon and shot Hickok in the back. Legend has it that Wild Bill was holding aces and eights, which has now become known as the Dead Man's Hand. Main Street sure has changed over the years, but the locals have kept the original flair of the old western town. All right, my buddy from work is wanting a shot glass from the saloon where Wild Bill was shot. Closed. Sorry, Ryan. I would suggest arriving later in the day to investigate more of the town when things are open. 
the brothel. Man, did that run till 1980? Many give credit to Seth Bullock, the first sheriff, for installing order and accountability to Deadwood. It is believed during his law enforcement career, Bullock never killed a man, but somehow still managed to tame Deadwood. Bullock had a great friendship with President Theodore Roosevelt, and just a short drive north of Deadwood, it is worth visiting the Mount Roosevelt Friendship Tower, constructed by Bullock in honor of President Roosevelt. of the Roosevelt Tower. I'm loving it. I almost didn't take a hike up here because it's a long way, but thankfully Dave was back at uh, the parking lot and he is making breakfast and he's watching my stuff. So, hey Dave, appreciate it, buddy. Note to self, there are several dozen amazing campsites on this section. A loop around Deadwood. Beautiful valley. See you later, Deadwood. Very impressed. If I'm back in this area, I will definitely stay in the town and park for the night and have a little bit more exploration. Oh yeah, let's move right there. <laughs> Ain't that the life. It's a summer only home. Wow, that is spectacular. We are out on the Spearfish Canyon Scenic Byway. Coming up on some waterfalls. Gorgeous. Rough Luck Falls, beautiful weather still, long way to go, see you soon. Ooh, that air feels good. Well, you know what Dances with Wolves and Local Route ADB have in common? They both filmed here.
like <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. Left. That way it looks awful cool. Well, I did not expect this. Fire Lookout Tower. This is one of those super duper highlights I did not see coming. Almost 7,000 feet, and I mean, without a doubt, the best view um, of the trip. Just panoramic all the way around. And once again, there were some pretty cool little campsites close by, but of course, I am trying to mosey on down. It's just now 12.30. We are having a pretty casual day. I have stopped a lot. Man, there's a lot to be said about getting up early and getting the day going. The early rider gets the view. That's what the saying should be. Sweet track. I got a little roller coaster. Might be mistaken, but I think that black line on the screen is Wyoming. <sighs> I doubt there's going to be a sign or a border station on this road. We're going to call it right here. That's Wyoming. That's South Dakota. Okay, so today we have completed section one of the BDRX route in the Black Hills. We have done about half of section two. And now we are going to take off into, whoa, <laughs> into Wyoming and hit the JBDR, <laughs> which is Jay's route. To Devil's Tower, which is about 117 miles. We're just cruising around Wyoming. I just wanted to say that as it's been almost a year since I was cruising in Wyoming. We got about 60 miles to get to the Devil's Tower. Raring to go. 
Last time I was in Wyoming, I was down by Savory, just the very southern part, and it was all high desert. It wasn't anything like this. I don't even remember any trees, just a bunch of sage. It's very unique. Kind of hope that I get to see a little bit of that again just for a change of pace. I didn't expect to see that color of rock on this trip. Must be getting close to the Rocky Mountains. <laughs> Whew. Having one of them tired spells, it's about two o'clock. Uh, pulled off here at Deep Coral Spring, which is a sweet camping area, but I still haven't found anywhere to get water. Um, and I'm almost out, so I am just gonna take a quick 10 minute nap. And then I'll see you back out there, hopefully all revived and ready to go. The very interesting wall up there. Wow, it goes all the way across there. <laughs> that is cool. Wonder why it's like that. It's all the way around there. The Great Wall of Wyoming. This is starting to look a little bit more like the Wyoming I remember. Getting rid of all the trees. Starting to get these little shelves and some sage bush. Road signs. Haven't seen those for a while. Okay, well there's a severe thunderstorm coming. I'm headed directly into it thinking about detouring around it i mean i can't go clear around it but if i head south and just kind of reverse the loop i might miss the blunt of it well so far so good we're just about to sundance Isn't that ironic? <laughs> and all that stuff is going that way. So we're going this way. There's something behind it, but it's a little farther north. So we're just pew, 70 mile an hour right down the road. That storm is still coming and I've already spent four nights in a tent. So I am going to Get a room. We called this place here in Sundance and he made me a deal. And it's right up here. I am looking forward to a shower and a bed. Oh yeah. <laughs> the Bear Lodge Mountain Resort. This one. Hey, 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 everybody. I took one of them amazing shower things. Woo! I've already got my laundry done. My wool shirts and wool socks are all getting cleaned up. This place is pretty sweet. Nice view out the front porch. I brought home some food. I'm going to eat. I'm going to download all this footage. And then I am crashing out. I'm gonna sleep for 10, 12, maybe 14 hours. You know I'm not doing that. <laughs> so, been a great day, guys. I've actually stopped and talked to a bunch of people. I always feel real uncomfortable about busting the camera out. And then at the end of the conversation, I tell them what I do and they're like, oh, I'll check it out, man. Oh, you should have recorded something. But it's just weird. Really great day. I was tired all day, but somehow right now, I don't feel like I was. I feel like I did a good job and got everything I wanted to get done. I really didn't know if I was going to make it to Devil's Tower today and then that storm just talked me into not because uh, I'm not going to be able to, 
you know, really enjoy it anyway. So hopefully the weather will be better tomorrow. And I'm rambling, and I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good night.